So I'll be calling you a radical Passover. It's the 8th of April. Look at this snow. And it's just not melting. I'm telling you, there's a little bit of runoff happening. It's supposed to hit 60 today. You know, this afternoon, but that's not enough to get the runoff rolling. And we're talking, you have snow here? You should see it all. Well, you can see there's North Ogden. Look at the snow all the way down. I mean, you can see it laying across the... I mean, it's unbelievable. It's incredible, actually. So, in 2011, it came right over through here. And... There's flooding all over Ogden and Weber County in 2011. Not real heavy, severe flooding, but it flooded. This is, it's like a Bugatti to a Pinto of 2011. 2011, there was a lot of snow, but not like this, not even. So that's all going to change. That's going to change radically the next few days. The only thing KSL from hell is good at is their weather. Their weather report is usually incredibly accurate. That's the only thing that saves those guys. So that's all going to change starting tomorrow. They've upped the ante on their forecast for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday and tomorrow. It's going to go, Salt Lake's going to be, my guess will be pushing 80 when they say 75. And this is important because over the last decade, their lows they set, the lows are always lower. The highs they set, the highs are always higher the extremes because the models they're using are broken. They're using models, the last 10 years, these models all got blown to hell post Fukushima. Just coincidence, bro. The greatest drought in human history, the greatest drought in 1,200 years, well, at least 1,200 years, the great Western drought, the plutonium fires, the heat dome, the salmon collapse, the starfish collapse. All coincidence, bro. 2011 has Predicted by Kevin Blanche, son of Cassandra. It's incredible. It blows my mind. By the way, I'm having a big party on the 15th. Huge party. The night of the 14th into the 15th. Because it'll be 10 years from the, to the day that Germany announced after Fukushima happened. 10 years. They announced in 2013. I remember when they announced it. You know, everybody's like going crazy, the propaganda machine. Angela Merkel is a nuclear physicist. There will be nuclear energy. That's such a major, major milestone in a person like Kevin Blanche's life. You don't even know. That's like the kicking down of the Domino Sinanofre in 2013. You know, my crowning jewel, Blue Castle. You know, put the dagger to that piece of shit. All of these accomplishments I've had as the activist. I'm, I mean, it's amazing. Raising my grandchildren, but, I mean... It'll be one incredible emotional day for people like me. There's, We're out there. And it's going to be, I mean, you're going to see people cry. The hard work, the blood, sweat, and tears that has gone into it in Germany, well, all over the world. You have no clue. You don't even know what it's like to be an anti-nuclear energy activist. You have no clue in the street. You, you don't know what we're up against. It's truly, David, they throw the kitchen sink at us. You know, I've had guns in my face. I've had people go to me with the hearings and they don't believe me until they go with me. Like, holy shit. Teams of cops or whatever the hell they think they are just swarm you. They're all, yeah, against me. I mean, it's pathetic. They've tried every dirty trick in the book, so it's going to be historic. It's going to be really historic. As Germany goes, and so here's the irony. The G7 was G8. I thought it was G20, G whatever. The, they think they're the all. I'm wondering if the Huff Kissinger at 100 over there telling them what to do. You got to talk to Henry before I go to Fukushima. It'll be 100. You know, and maybe they can have Bankman Fried and Elizabeth Holmes. Maybe Forbes can have their 30. There are 30 billionaires under 30. How many of them have been arrested for fraud now? How many billions of dollars did they steal? Was Holmes in prison yet? What's that got to do with energy? Her dad is Christian Holmes? <sighs> Enron? Enron? <laughs>
How come she's not in prison? She was convicted how long ago? Oh, she had two kids posted. You don't think that alibi's ever been tried? <laughs> so she's due in prison. A week for next Monday. We'll see. So, and then she can come out and probably get her spot on the view after. I was in the bone marrow transplant unit you know, when she was doing her fake blood tests, and people would argue with doctors, literally, because of these fake blood tests of hers. They didn't think that, you know, $100 million flux capacitor at LDSC State worked. They were going to go with her. 1999 or 2999 at Walgreens. That's the, okay. Okay. All right. That's the problem is the fake that the, the half nukers, the false equivalency. So the 30 billionaires, <laughs> Forbes. Oh my God. Think about the nuclear energy propaganda. They spilled both. You know, I think back on it. I think on it. I think on it, song to end all songs. How long, how long must I sing this song? I think about how hardcore it's been. I think historically what people have done, how they've branded themselves in history and put their names on crippled reactors. Biggest sense, Chernobyl, just the panty painting, the diluting, the half nukers. Helen says, Japanese are tidy people. They cleaned it up, half nuker. Chris Busby says, the Pacific Ocean is a big place, it'll dilute. Half nuker. Gundershield called it a hydrogen blast for seven years. <laughs> that person had it dead to rights, the activist Kevin Blanche, and, you know, some of the Europeans. And a hell of a battle. It'll be emotional because the G7, we're going to try to push in Japan. The G7's in Japan. You think about this. The day the G7 starts, this historic event, the reactors, they'll be done. Remember, they, they were supposed to be done at midnight 2023, but they'll all freeze to death in Germany if we don't. The fairy tale, the unicorn. <laughs> Such a sham. That day, they'll shut down. The same day that the nuclear puppet nations, nuclear energy, they don't illuminate, they radiate. The nuclear energy crime syndicate cartel, all that free money, posts the bomb. They turned on the Manhattan Project. They turned on the money faucet. They never shut it off. Thus, Kevin Lynch, the post-ignorance project, counter to the Manhattan Project. Einstein was right. Einstein was right. Angela Merkel was right. The nuclear fist, they'll shut it off right as the G said, like anybody can listen to those phony liars after all they've done. You know, branded themselves in history, all the propaganda machine, everybody's put their name on. Good on you. Good on you. You're fools. You're fools. Because history's going to brand you. Well, they already have branded you. Anybody with half a brain cell knows the reality of this that Kevin Blanche was right. This is the greatest ecological catastrophe in human history. And the cover up's the greatest crime. Obama, Trump, Biden, they will go down in history as three of the greatest derelict criminals that ever walked. That ever walked. You, Bush, dumb. Filmed right over here on 30th Street in Washington, 7 Eleven. Bush Chavez's bar on 24th Street, the keg. I got to sit in the mud, but he worked for me then. We from the sea. It's the ecology, stupid. Barack Obama, St. Patrick's Day, March 2013. March 2011, excuse me. Six days after the disaster. I never promised you a rose. Gave a speech in the Rose Garden. The plume is coming over and out. The experts are telling us. I want people to understand. This is a great story because I was at the Helen Keldicott supposing me, and when she told me I couldn't say the F word, I'm an anti nuker. I'm a butcher, what's cow? I'm a baker, what's a cake? I'm an anti nuker. What's Fukushima? I can. <laughs> what clowns. We don't, we hate bombs, but we like freaking nuclear energy. Which came first, the chicken and the egg, branding themselves in history. The experts, they formed a commission of 30 different people inside there to handle the Fukushima cleanup, I mean cover up. I was in New York City, they're supposing we were at the 
Metropolitan, and I'm standing there looking at this great painting of the Hudson River painters had done of the natives in right over the mountain here in Wyoming. Now remember, they sent artists with the fur traders. That'll be 200 years. Who's the savages? Right here, the first ones here. They were Francis Wasatch means to hide. I'm standing there looking at that beautiful, incredible painting. They didn't have cameras, so they sent artists to do it. Just a masterpiece. I look up, and this guy goes up there, and he reaches up, and he touches the painting right on the natives. I jumped his ass. I'm looking at the hell, and he turned around, and I had a, my focus. Oh, you're one of those. What do you mean, one of those? You know, me and him got into it about Fukushima. You know, he, and then his friend come over, Ackerman tried to sell him a painting, and the argument's on. And I'm like, well, what the fuck are you pro nukers doing here in New York City? I see your church, University of Michigan. We're here, we're on Barack Obama's team. He, the guy says, oh, the cover-up team. We're here for the opera. <laughs> Paid vacation, just like, you know, we're going to new scale. <laughs> What's that raise in his Learjet? Bill Gates going to build little nookies at Cameron. No, he's not. So, Barack Obama says, I will keep you abreast and tell the American public what I know. Well, he didn't know shit, obviously. I know what happened inside the situation room. The only one that ever challenged the NRC to this was Kevin Watch to their face because those are the world's run by those who show up. I show up. I always have. He never mentioned it again until right before the 2016 election on Jimmy Kimball. I'm Jimmy Kimball. Is it true? Like Hillary said, they call you at four in the morning. You have to wake up. When you... Yeah. Did it ever happen? Yeah, it happened to me like when Fukushima happened. Jimmy Kimball. I live in L.A. Watch Santa Susana. He's a smart one. You know, the typhoon. He called the greatest ecological catastrophe in human history a typhoon. Just the tsunami alone killed how many people? Nine, the great nine-point earthquake, which shattered these things immediately. Bush, dumb, Obama, dumber, Trump. Ask Trump from here to there. It was on Fox News. You're going to talk Fukushima when you get elected? Yeah. First one he meets with, Abby. Abby. I was at the White House that night. The only thought she had at one, they had a things, light show also, and the air started going, all you could hear is, you fuck Bernie. You chanted through the night. I got onto the subway, and I remember the blue line was in red, was in pink, and there's a girl sobbing. It's about 3.30 in the morning. I went in, and I got on the buses. You know, the workers in New York City take buses from D.C., and I rode on the bus in Philly. Philly was on. God, it blew my mind in the middle of the night. Got to New York as the sun come up. Went over to Trump's, and first one in, Abby. Why would he be there for him? Then when Trump's inauguration... They meet at Mar Argo, first dignitary there, walk out the windows. He met with Abby 17 times. For a United States president post the A bomb to meet with the U once is historic. Only happened once. I was in front of the White House when TEPCO got called in on remember, remember the 6th of November. So write a book. I've been a little busy trying to stay alive, but this is a book. Like Colette Spencer says, Kevin Ranch wrote a book. It'd be 10 feet thick. So it'll be historic as a G7 meets. We're going to promote more nuclear. Japan's going to restart. No, they're not. No, they're not. So you got 54 reactors off in Japan. You've got 20 reactors off down in Germany. You've got several reactors down in Belgium. I won't stop there. Send an offer. We kicked that freaking domino down. Dwayne Arnold, Indian Point, Oyster Creek. Bruce Springsteen betrayed us, sold us down the river. He's exploiting homeless now. I'm going to re add a, another concert tour in San Diego because of the homeless. His tickets are tw up to, I mean, good tickets anywhere from 800 to 2,500 a seat, 2,600. You know? Just like he did the anti-nuclear movement. Just used us up. 
like everybody did, just like Alex you know, Jeff Franson did, Kevin Blanch. Put my YouTube videos all over when I'm dying of cancer, working the tide pools. People had them posted everywhere. Right underneath, buy your survival, your supplements, your pills marked up 10,000%. They got rich, never sent me five cents. Usury. <laughs> Usury. I guess that's what I'm for. I'm a fool to do your nuclear energy dirty work, but I have done it. It's been brutal this last, I mean brutal. You know, I'll be 63 for the third time on Monday. 21 for the third time on Monday. I've been at this longer than that. You know, my whole life and then some. So, G7 going to promote nuclear in Japan. It starts the day. Let's see what Germany's got to say. We'll see what they have to say. <laughs> Thank you, Germany. Sehr gut. Sehr gut. Sehr gut. So, flood watch. Here. Oh, it'll flood like crazy. It'll start tomorrow afternoon. And Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. She'll come down. We'll see what we got. I mean... Only thing authentic left is the building. The professors sure aren't. They're pathetic, actually. I'm a butcher. What's a cow? I'm a baker. What's a cake? I'm a football player. What's a goalpost? I'm a zoologist at Weber State. I'm a marine biologist at San Diego State at Cal Berkeley. They're pathetic. They're pathetic. What's Fukushima? <laughs> you branded yourself in history. Thousands and thousands of you pieces of, you know, cover up panty painter, pro nuker pieces of dog shit. So do I. All I ever wanted was my peace of mind. Stan Turner.